Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at a, the different kinds of valves that are available to you as a brewer and discussing the various advantages and disadvantages of the different kind of valves in order that you might be able to make a, a more informed or better decision to know specifically what kind of valve you want for your uh, brewing equipment. Uh, valves are divided, at least valves that are used in brewing applications are divided in two different means. One is the the way that it is connected uh, to the pipe or the fitting or the vessel uh, and the second is the kind of closure system that exists inside the valve. So the two main kinds of valves in terms of connection are threaded valves that have an MP, generally an MPT type threading that can thread onto a pipe and the other is of course the triclover or triclamp type uh, connection that uses a gasket and a clamp that fits over to hold it to the pipe or the vessel or the fitting. Uh, the type of closure that exists, uh, there are two main kinds of, of closures. The first is a ball valve type closure uh, with a little ball that turns. Uh, one quarter turn of the valve will go from completely closed to completely open. And butterfly valves, which is a thin disc that exists inside the valve and it also operates on the principle of a quarter turn will go from fully closed to fully open. So starting with the threaded ball valve, some of the advantages of this valve are that it's probably the, uh, the most inexpensive valve out there. Uh, some of the disadvantages of it include that the threads can retain uh, contaminants, sediment can be in the threads and they can become very hard to clean out. Um, additionally, the inside of the housing, if it's a typical one-piece or even a two-piece valve like this, it can be difficult to get to the inside of the valves and some sediment might occur trapped uh, in between the ball and the Teflon housing. But they are inexpensive and they're versatile and a rugged and durable valve that is often used. The second kind of valve here is a butterfly valve. And this butterfly has the triclamp fitting and or the triclover triclamp and so it connects readily can be easily pulled off and a particular vessel or pipe can be uh, quickly isolated. This one comes with uh, a, a half and a full locking position so it's easy to find that and know where your valve is at um, and it is also a fairly lightweight and relatively inexpensive valve. There's a lot of not a lot of material in it one of the disadvantages of this valve is that it does not, it's, it's not easy to disassemble it. It has screws in it and the uh, closure, the um, inside it presses up against resilient silicone on the inside, which means that it's not going to give you as good of a seal as a ball valve. And as we'll see on some of these later valves, it's not, the seal is not able to be tightened. So the longevity of this valve is not going to be as long. Another disadvantage of the butterfly valve is that even in the fully open position, you will always have the uh, closure mechanism or the plate right down the middle of the valve. And this means in effect that even though you may have a large opening on the valve, it's divided in two by that wafer that goes right down the middle. Uh, and material could hang up on this, hops could hang up on this, and it kind of counteracts the benefit of having a large port system. There are a couple different kinds of butterfly valves. There are high performance butterfly valves which are more expensive but the middle piece that closes it moves off slightly to the side by how they've arranged it in inside the valve but what you're giving up is that there's actually a larger cavity that's going to be in there which will be able to trap other material as well. One other thing with the butterfly is that it is able to trap uh, sediment underneath the wafer here in between the resilient silicone and the wafer and that's going to be very hard to get out. The third valve that we're looking at here is a ball valve with a triclamp triclover connection on it and this is a three-piece valve. Some of the advantages are uniform to all the uh, triclamp ball valves like this and that they can be disassembled. The disadvantage of this kind of a valve is that it has these bolts so you need wrenches in order to pull it all apart and look on the inside so it can be more time consuming and difficult to get in. 
The, this valve, in particular valve, has a small opening or, or bore or port size and you can see when compared to this side, to the butterfly here, that it's significantly different in terms of the volume that can pass through this. If you're trying to put a uh, more viscous or thick material, like your tube or your yeast through here, it's going to have a lot more difficulty moving through there in terms of the opening size than it would on a larger uh, opening like on this valve. Um, so this kind of a ball valve with a small opening would be useful maybe in a wart type application where fully cleaning it out may not be as important um, and certainly where it's going to be fully liquid and you're not going to be worrying about plugging it up. Next are the full sanitary valves that have the tri-clamp fitting. You can see this is one that we sell. It has a larger, it's a 7 8 opening. And the benefit of these valves is that they can be fully disassembled in a matter of seconds in order to clean it all apart on the inside. Just by taking the top nut off here, removing the handle, loosening the clamp, you're able to pull it apart in a few seconds. The valve opens up and you can see right inside it here if there's any sediment or debris that may have got trapped behind the ball or inside the valve it's very easy to quickly pull apart and physically clean out with the 3-in-1, the Bruja 3-in-1 system this is important at the end of the brew day just to pull these apart and get rid of the physical debris it's not necessary to uh, worry about the microbial in this because the heat of the boil in the 3-in-1 is going to take care of that so you can see how it quickly comes apart here's the stem on the valve, there's a silicone gasket, there's a ball that sits down inside the valve, and then there's the housing for the valve. It's very easy to put back together too. So within 30 seconds you can disassemble and put your valve back together again. When you're putting the handle on you want to look through and make sure that it's in the right orientation. I see that it now it's open so we put it in the open position, thread the nut back on and it's all done. The final valve that we're looking at here is a large port, full port. It's a one and three eighths. It's on a one and a half inch tri-clamp, which is the same as these other sanitary or tri-clover tri-clamp fittings or valves. Uh, but the, the benefit of this valve here is that it is fully open. So it has the same opening as the tri-clamp valve. However, the benefit of the ball valve is that it can fully get out of the way. So you can see right down through the valve. Whereas with the butterfly valve, there's always this piece that goes down the middle of the valve that's going to be in the way. So in terms of ensuring that you're able to move your tube or your yeast through it and it won't get plugged up, this valve is better than the butterfly valve in my opinion. The one uh, disadvantage of a large valve like this is of course that it's heavier and it's going to be more expensive. Uh, it's a very durable, long-lasting valve. Uh, it is often used in, in high-pressure situations because it's uh, durability and uh, ruggedness, whereas a butterfly valve wouldn't be for that. So these are the main valves uh, that uh, are offered uh, for brewing applications. There are, of course, uh, gate valves, glow valves, there are different kinds of valves, but these are kind of the main ones that are, that are offered. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about uh, valves or, or specifically the Bruja valves, then feel free to send them in using the form on the website. Thank you for watching.